It's, it's okay. You came back. Of course I came back. So how are you doing? Good. I talked to my brother. I, I told him everything. He believes me. That's great. So where is he? you've been doing to my brother oh, but that doesn't get you off the hook he believes me allison i believe you too but i don't count and paul doesn't count we've got to stop the real creep who's been sneaking around fairwinds are you gonna tell me who it is hey. <laughs> hello paul's taking care of me. i still don't get a name He's trying to find proof so that other people believe me, too. How? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm supposed to meet him here. Well, whoever it is, I hope Paul makes him pay for trying to ruin your life. Why'd you do it, Emily? The doll hanging cabbage, stalking on the mantelpiece, all the bizarre things that you did to try and get Rosanna to think that she was going crazy? What are you talking Will about? Will saw you with the doll. Why? Answer me. I swear to you, I don't know what you think about Don't you think that kid's been doll. through enough? Do anything to Will. Oh, don't him. deny it. I know the truth. You need to leave. No, until I get some answers. Why? I mean, why? Why would you try and destroy my family? Tell me. What's in it for you? Now I uh, wait here for Paul. If you don't freeze to death first, I'll be okay. <sighs> Come to my mom's house. I'll stash you in the attic until Paul figures this out. <laughs> I'm not hiding in an attic. Well, it beats an alley. He won't be long. Uh, I'm not talking about any old attic. I'm talking about the prime spot between the Little Princess dollhouse and the Barbie Ferrari. No, I'm not a criminal, Allison. I'm not Who guilty of anything. Were? Okay, I'll, I'll think about the attic. Good, because I haven't driven my mom crazy in months. I'm due. Thanks. We're a lot alike, you and me. What, you mean we're both big screw-ups? No. <laughs> I have an older sister and you have an older brother, and they both do a pretty good job of taking care of us and standing up for us when things get tough. I'm really glad that Paul came through for you. If anyone ever tried to mess with my head, Emily would tear them apart with her bare hands. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead, take it. You've been a really great friend. You do the same for me, I know it. me of destroying your family because last I checked it was my family too. Will saw you. Okay, Will Winston saw, saw me. The one that you planted at Fairwinds. Don't do this. Emily, please don't do this. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Will said the same thing to me. A about what? He came to me and, and asked me about a doll. And I didn't have a clue what he was talking about. I still don't. I've barely left the house. I've had this flu. If you don't believe me, you can ask Hal. <laughs> you had the flu? That's your alibi? You had the flu? Paul! Will's got tons of issues, okay? All because of your mother. There is I don't know, maybe he's lashing out at me because wrong. I'm some kind of mother Ms. figure. Will. Have you been around the last couple of years? He knows what he saw. Did anybody else see it? Did you see it? Or is Will's word gospel all of a sudden? Good enough for me. Okay, let me ask you this. What do I gain by, by torturing Rosanna? I don't know, Emily, you tell me. Maybe, maybe freedom from Will. I love Will. From a distance. What are you talking about? He lived in this house for a very long time. He'd still be living here if it weren't for your mother. Yeah, but maybe you want to get him shipped back to the state hospital. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. And, and I'm not saying that because I'm plotting against you. So him. how far would you go, Emily, huh? How far would you go to make sure that Excuse that happened? Excuse me, I have been the one constant thing in that boy's life. You weren't constant? You weren't constant when you first got out of the hospital. You, you packed your bags, you took off your What are you talking watch? about? For a few days, I came home. I came home because that's what I do. I make this place a home or I go down trying. You know what? I got a great idea. Why don't you take your mother and move back to Fairwinds? Because I'll take Will back here in a heartbeat. What about Daniel? Daniel's why you didn't want Will in here in the first place, if I remember right. Daniel loves Will. And yes, I was a little worried when he first came home. But the minute I saw those boys together, my worries went away. Right, so you're just one big, happy, peachy family. Let me tell you something. When I married Hal, I took it all. Uh -huh. 
I took the, the ex-wife, the kids, the house, the mortgage, and I made a lot of sacrifices. But you know what? I've been happy to do it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and let you accuse me of hurting the people I love the most. Okay, here's what I think. I think you're still afraid of Will, and you don't want to go to Howl and express those fears because you know that Howl will side with Will. And then where would you I'm not denying that I had fears. I just told you. God, I was a little afraid. I was freaked out when Will showed up on my doorstep. And maybe I was right. Maybe he came home too soon. No, Will is not the one who's responsible for what's happening to Rosie. Well, neither am I. Now get the hell out of my house. I'm going to find out the truth, Emily. Just like you got to the truth about Rose. What the hell is that supposed to be? Will mean? went after Rose because he felt he was losing you. Huh. What if he's not well? What if those feelings are bubbling up again? You're, then what? You're wrong. Maybe. But if I were you, I'd tell Rosanna to sleep with her eyes wide open. Wow. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. Oh, Em, please. It's okay. But I'm not some little kid that you can manipulate anymore. I'm all grown up. And at least now I know for sure just what my kid brother's up against. No, I tried his cell phone about a dozen times. He's not picking up. No, I, you, just forget it. I'm going to come down there myself. Thanks. You were back to work yeah, already. I'm beginning to think that wasn't such a bright idea. But your, your husband's quite a smooth talker. He convinced me to come. Yeah, Hal, is he around? Uh, no, not at the moment. I think he uh, he had a meeting in Chicago. Obviously, it's running a little expected. Oh, that must be why I couldn't reach him on his cell. Well, why don't you talk to the desk clerk and see if they can call him, see if there's an ETA and when he's going to be back. Or I can take a message. Uh, no. No, it's something I, I need to tell him in person. Everything okay? No, Jack. Everything's far from okay, but I, I need to find help. Sorry, it took a long time, but it was worth it. Well, what happened? I have solid proof that Emily's behind everything that's been happening at Fairwoods. She's not going to be able to lie her way out of it anymore. Who's Emily? Emily? My Emily? We have proof.
this your bright idea? Because if you think this is going to help Will, then you're out of your mind. Me? That I'm the one that's out of his mind, right? Look, well, I'm sorry I said that. Hey, I... We have proof that Emily was talking this. That time. tape. Yeah, this tape is from a security camera at a store called Toys and Treasure. You can see Emily buying a doll, just like the one she brought to Fairwind. That's what you have on that tape? Emily buying a doll? Do you know how many kids we have on yeah. our Christmas list? I will bet you that none of those kids got a doll exactly like this one. How? Just look at the tape. She had no motive, Paul. Neither did I, Dad. But, but you still believed I did it. I never said that. Out loud. You see, this is why I didn't want to tell him before. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The blonde woman that you saw at Fairwinds, you suspected that as being Emily? No, Dad, I knew it was Emily. And I tried to tell you at the diner. 